So reality is this, guys. Most of you guys don't even get this, but when you marry somebody, what you're saying is, I am your person who's going to mentally, physically, and emotionally care for you. And when you don't care for that person, when they need to be cared for, what happens is it sends a signal just as if a toddler grow, runs up to their parent looking for care because they got hurt. And the parent tuned them out and turned away. That's the same experience that you're giving your spouse when you don't engage and you don't talk to them. When they are dealing with an emotional pain painful experience that they may have experienced from you or from someone who you know or may be caused by you. But when you tone them out, what you're doing is you're saying, you know, I don't care about you. And you may feel, well, Jimmy, it's too much. Well, you need to communicate this too much. You need to share with your spouse that first off, it's too much to kind of process right now what's going on. So can we talk about this later? I love you. I care for you. Those are affirming words. And when you affirm your partner's emotional position, when you affirm your care for them and your love for them, but your inability to communicate at that moment, they can hear that. What they don't get is when you tune out and walk away. Because walking away says, hey, I don't care. And you may care. And I'm sure you do care. But every time you do that, it sends them a signal and their emotional signal says, this person who you marry, you can't trust because they're not giving you the experience of being loved. They're giving you the experience of being a nuisance. You feel like they feel you're an addict, you're a nuisance. That's not the message you're trying to send or the message you're trying to receive.